It's all about shrimps, simply shrimps. Hello, welcome to this video where we'll be talking about Scutariella japonica. Scutariella japonica. Yes. What's that, may you ask? Well, that's what we're going to talk about. So I'll cut through to some nice close-ups of my shrimp. But they're not really nice because at the end of the day they've got this parasite. But there's some nice macro shots to show it off. Not that you want to show it off. Ah, I'm rambling now. Anyway, I'll cut to some good shots of um, the actual parasite on some of my shrimp and how to deal with it. So Scutariella japonica is a fairly common shrimp parasite. Unfortunately though, it seems to be increasing and becoming more common in the home aquarium. Although the aquarium trade sees them as a parasite and to be shunned upon, they are actually quite common in the wild and live in a somewhat symbiotic relationship. A little bit like a clownfish and an anemone. They kind of need each other to survive really. Well, more so the Scutariella japonica needs the shrimp more than the shrimp needs them. But I hope you get my gist. A good thing to know is they're not actually detrimental towards shrimp and I've not really noticed any of my shrimp die from the parasite alone. The parasite itself is a form of flatworm and it feeds off the plasma of the shrimp. Ugh, a bit gross, but yeah. And it also feeds off the detritus, so the waste in the water as it drifts by. They do tend to live in the gills of the shrimp, however can sometimes be seen on the rostrum between the eyes of the shrimp as like finger like extensions. They can be hard to spot on the gills of the shrimp. If the shrimp itself is of a higher grade or solid coloration, so you've got like your fire red slash painted reds, as opposed to if you look at your just wild type shrimp, they're quite transparent, you can see right through them, so you'd be able to see the eggs more easily. Since we're on the topic of gills, they actually lay their eggs in this chamber too, often in little lines, so you'll see little sort of white pinprick lines, they're the eggs. So when a shrimp molts, the eggs actually stay on the molt. This is why it's important to remove any molts that you see in a shrimp tank that might have a outbreak of Scutariella japonica, just to stop it, like if you think you've killed them all, the eggs hatch and boom, you're infested again. As far as I'm aware, the parasite only actually affects Neocaridina shrimp, so the likes of your cherry shrimp, and not the Caridina shrimp, so your crystal reds and crystal blacks. But don't quote me on that. If you have any sort of experience with them infecting any other types of shrimp, then just comment below and let me know. I'm interested to know. The easiest way to deal with Scutariella japonica is a salt dip. And my next video is actually going to be one on how to salt dip your shrimp safely and I'll go into more depth of it there. That's all for this video and thanks for watching. If you did like it, whack that thumbs up, subscribe for more content. Obviously I'm doing a salt dip on my shrimp later on so you can watch that when it comes out and I'll see you later. It's all about shrimps, simply shrimps. Let's keep some shrimp over simply shrimps.